This is an image of Empress Maria Charlotta. I designed this image to show the Empress at the height of her powers. The Empress was all about representing her power in every aspect of her life. She liked to flaunt her power and her wealth in every aspect, including the buildings she lived in and also her fashion. Fashion was incredibly important at the time. The Empress is wearing here lots of uh, jewellery, lots of pearls all dangling from her hair here, as well as around her neck and chest area. The ruff she is wearing around her neck, around the back of her neck, which is like an Elizabethan collar sort of thing, but it, this was a kind of a fashion statement for Empress Maria Charlotta, and in a lot of her pictures that I do, she's usually wearing one of these. For me, it makes her look really powerful and just like a, a true kind of imperial monarch, if that makes any sense. Uh, this crown here was especially designed for Empress Maria Charlotta. The white feathers on top of it represent two things, divinity and also imperial power. The Empress was an absolute monarch and also the head of the church. The Empress here is holding the imperial staff, again with the imperial monogram on top. The three-headed fleur-de-lis. In the background you can see a, a massive cathedral which was commissioned by the Empress for her coronation. This crown here is not usually a crown that's actually worn by the monarch. It's actually a crown that's just for sort of decoration. Um, but each member of the imperial family is given a crown like this because it represents their power and their status at court. It also has the imperial symbol on top and the white feathers. The scroll here uh, are plans for the Empress's Imperial Palace of Strasbourg and the orb you can see furthest to the right, again with the Imperial symbol and the sumptuousness of the table there. The cascading ermine robes, which seem to kind of roll over the stage set here. The globe represents the Empress's global power. The empire covered over a tenth of the world's surface and continue to grow throughout her reign, and the X there marks the spot of her homeland, the centre of the empire. The flags here uh, represent the different districts of the empire as well. The empress's feet sit upon this stool here. The way her, the folds in her dress all seem to kind of lay on top of each other. I did actually do an image of this beforehand, but I didn't think it was quite good enough, so I had to do another one. And I think I've done this image justice here. And I hope you like it too. Thank you for watching. And let me know what you think.